legal action on the controversial procurement and distribution of substandard vials of the human immunoglobulin vaccines was taken up before the Maliga Kanda Magistrates Court yesterday. However, former Minister of Health Kheli Rambukwalla was not present before the Magistrates Court yesterday on account of his ailing health as claimed by prison officials. Making submissions before court on behalf of the state, Deputy Solicitor General Lakmini Girihagama claimed that in 2022, the former Minister of Health Kheli Rambukwalla fabricated a non-existent shortage of pharmaceutical drugs in the country to intentionally abet the misappropriation of 2 billion rupees in public funds through the emergency procurement procedure. The Deputy Solicitor General submitted that, since the purchase in question was made under the Indian credit line, all payments had to be made according to the terms and conditions of the credit facility. Subsequently, the Deputy Solicitor General drew the court's attention to the fact that the payments for the vials of the vaccines in question were made from the budget provisions allotted to the Ministry of Health. She also claimed that the purchase of the vaccines in question were misrepresented as a transaction to purchase oxygen. The attorney at law representing former Minister of Health Kheli Rambukwalla, President's Counsel Anuja Premratna, subsequently made submissions before the Maliga Khanda magistrate. Through his submissions, President's Counsel Anuja Premratna reminded the court of the dire socio-economic conditions in the country at the time in question and stated that the condition of the country's health sector was in a perilous state. The President's Counsel then claimed that in light of those circumstances at the height of the crisis, the GMO revealed the lack of medicine in the country and urged the Minister of Health to import the necessary medicine. President's Counsel Premaratna alleged that those incidents have been forgotten by the complainant in the matter. The counsel for the former health minister then raised concerns on how the former minister was at fault for the criminal acts of the first suspect, namely in the matter. President's Counsel Anuja Premaratna then pleaded before the Maliga Khan the magistrate, indulging the court on the medical conditions affecting his client. However, the Maliga Khan the magistrate held that the court will only consider a valid medical report on the former health minister's medical condition. Upon considering the submissions made by their legal counsels, the Maliga Khan the magistrate rejected the bail applications of the seven suspects, holding them in remand custody until the 29th of February. Meanwhile, the Criminal Investigation Department and the Deputy Solicitor General Lakmini Girihagama tendered a motion before the Maliga Khan the magistrate's court urging an investigation into the truthfulness of the purported medical conditions claimed by the former Minister of Health Kheli Rambukwalla. The complainants requested the court to forward a questionnaire on the matter to the prison's medical officer.